any fix is a solution for your iPhone and if you have any problem on your iPhone you can use any fix to fix all of those issues on your iPhone you can enter or exit recovery mode you can upgrade or downgrade with just one click you can repair your system when you stuck at Apple logo or when you stuck at boot loop so you can fix by click on a system repair on system repair it can fix your phone up to 130 plus issues so any issues on your iPhone you can be fixed by this software more detail about any fix you can check from the link in my video description hello welcome back with another video for this one i would like to share you how you can jailbreak ios 12.3 up to ios 13.6 from the iphone 5s up to the iphone 8 and for me i have the iphone se in my hand which is running on ios 13.5 and you can jailbreak using check ran but if you have windows now you can use 3 u tool to jailbreak ios 12.3 up to 13.6 what you need to do you need to have a window computer and then you need to have 3 u tool one more thing you must have flash drive you can get a 4 gigabyte one and for me in my hand i have 16 gigabyte so it is very enough for me now you can go back to 3 u tools the download link for 3 u tool you can find from my video description now you need to connect your phone into your pc but for the first time that you connect your phone into your pc it gonna pop up trust so make sure you hit on trust and if you have passcode you need to turn off passcode from your phone and for me i have completely turned off the passcode and you can see here to avoid the error you need to turn off passcode so make sure you turn it off now i'm gonna go back to the pc and on 3 u tool you're gonna find flash and jailbreak then on the left side hit on jailbreak here click on jailbreak and on the top you're gonna find something like make check run jailbreak usb flash drive now click on that now on this step you're gonna see your usb hard drive so you can select on it and one more thing make sure you don't have any important data on your usb hard drive otherwise you're gonna lose it because it gonna erase all the data on your usb so make sure it is empty now i can click on start making then it gonna pop up like that one more thing your pc must connect it to the internet then I'm gonna click on yes and now it is downloading the important file so you can wait here now it is successfully created bootable usb and what you need to do click on close and after that you need to restart your pc and go into bios but before you restart your pc you need to put your phone into recovery mode first and i'm gonna go to toolbox then you're gonna find enter recovery mode here so click on it hit on enter recovery mode and then your phone will be entering recovery mode so you can wait a little bit now after you see this screen it's time to restart your pc so i'm gonna restart my pc real quick in my case i'm gonna press on f12 to go to bios so if you have different pc it's gonna use different key so make sure you figure it out and you can find a ton of information about that and then you're gonna go to this boot just like that and we have two choices we have legacy boot and then we have uefi boot so for uefi the old one but i'm gonna use the new one 
so I'm gonna go to here USB storage device or you can select on your USB right here on UEFI but for me I'm gonna go to legacy boot I can select on USB storage device right here I can press on enter and it is going to launch check run straight away so you can wait a little more time and now you're gonna see check run just like that and I can just go to option so you can use arrow left or arrow right so to move your keyboard so I'm gonna go to option here then I'm gonna select on allow untrusted version then I'm gonna go back now we can hit on start and then I can begin my jailbreak process now I'm gonna hit on start then you're gonna see DFU mode successfully so it begin the jailbreak process and you can see it is booting you're gonna see check run logo on your, your screen then you're gonna see check run on the home screen you can just launch but for me because i have already jail broken then you can see side idea by default here so and make sure your phone is connected to the internet then you can install side idea but because i have already had side idea so i don't need to reinstall it i can just launch it straight away and one more thing you're gonna see the error just like that sometimes because you do not turn off the passcode then you're gonna see the error just like that so if you see the error you can restart your PC and go to BIOS again and then you can begin to jailbreak with check run one more time and then it's gonna work for you and finally thanks for watching I hope you like this quick update then I will catch you guys in the next one